Harry Potter and the Deathly Swallows. An erotic fan fiction. Voldemort stood before Harry, gazing upon his struggling naked body. My oh my, what a beautiful specimen you turned out to be. He caressed Harry's rock-solid abs and squeezed his pulsating pecs. Once I've finished making love to you, there will be no jizzard alive who can stop me. Let go of me you braggart, Harry shouted. There's no way in hell I'll fluff for your nutter. Oh, but I think you will, said Voldemort. His eyes stared deeply into Harry's, and suddenly he felt a pang of pleasure rush through his body. No, not my trouser snake, he shouted. Sure enough, Harry's wang began to rise in the air, fully loaded and ready for action. Voldemort cradled his balls gently. Very good, boy. Now I shall take what is mine. Suddenly there was an explosion and the door blew open. In came Hermione, Ron, Tids McGee, and Dumbledore himself. Harry, shouted Hermione. We came to save you. Yeah, said Ron, we wasn't gonna let some sword pucker your mince meat. Tids McGee smiled. I see you took care of the Order of the Phallus without any problems. A plus work, Harry. Dumbledore's voice bellowed. What's the meaning of this, Snape? Were you working for that? Voldemort the whole time? Snape began to stammer, but before he could speak he exploded into a mist of blood. Voldemort hissed loudly. He drew his wand and cast a spell that bound the group in S and M style restraints. However, it did not work on Dumbledore, who was too oiled up to be affected. You'll have to do better than that, Voldemort. Or should I say, Tom Diddle? Voldemort screamed. Do not use that name around me, old man. He suddenly dove for the gun on the ground, did a somersault and unloaded the clip into Dumbledore. No, Harry yelled. Dumbledore fell to the ground, almost completely dead. Harry, he whispered, finish this. He then died. Harry roared a prophetic roar and was able to break out of his orgasmic state. He grabbed Voldemort by the balls and squeezed tightly. You know what I have to say about you, the dark jizzard Voldemort? Voldemort squealed in agony. What, he asked. Harry smirked. I say bollocks to that. With a twist, he ripped his scrotum clean off. Voldemort screamed, and blew up into a thousand tiny piece. Well, Harry said while wiping chunks of flesh off of him, that was a close call. Hermione ran over to hug him. Harry, we were so worried about you. We're glad you're okay. Yeah, Ron beamed. We're just glad it's all over. Professor Tits McGee walked up to him. Harry, you've done me proud. I now pronounce you king of the school. Harry smiled. Suddenly he noticed a figure enter through the doorway. It was Draco. Draco, Harry shouted, I thought you were dead. He chuckled. The only thing that's dead is my ability to stop wanting you. The two embrace, their tongues swirling around in eternal bliss. The group quietly scurried out of the room, sniggering as they went. Harry and Draco then proceeded to have the best sex of their lives. Dicks in and out of buttholes. Mouths filled with hot cum. Body parts caked and glazed like a Christmas ham. Finally, once they had no more energy to make love, Draco cuddled up to Harry. What are you gonna do now? Harry looked upwards. You know, I've been thinking, and I want to make Hogwarts into Snogwarts, the school of fuckery. And you, my little sex boy, will be my first pupil. The end.